Okay, so you can see in this setup we're using an HVD96, which is Texas Instruments Simpol device, in place of a RS485 device, which was in that same socket earlier in the previous versions, and that's that's the way this particular unit was shipped, is with an RS485 device. We've made a direct replacement for that in the uh, pan tilt zoom camera. And so, looking over the setup at this point, we've got, at this point, two cameras hooked up. One with the dome still intact and one disassembled a little bit so you can see what's going on with it. And we're going to deal with the one that's disassembled because we can see what's going on. But if you follow its wires down to what would have been the RS-485 connections, we are now making these through a longer cable, and I've got some clip leads, so I'll be able to make this go reverse wired anytime I want. And this is about uh, 167 feet, uh, 50 meters or so of uh, Cat5 cable coming back to our controller. Alright, so the whole setup. It's got two cameras in this case connected. I've got a little video monitor, and so the uh, second camera is really just for loading down and making it a multi-node bus. Alright, so what we want to see here is that by controlling with the Simpol transceiver in both the controller end and in the camera end, pan tilt zoom camera, I can drive the camera around and give it commands to go left and right, send it wherever I want. Okay, so that's not unexpected. That's the same functionality we had with the uh, RS-45 transceiver. Note at this point I've got uh, a green wire with an orange clip on it and a white wire with the black clip on it. So I'm now going to switch those around 